Hey, what's up guys? It's Sandboy4, aka the BK Berserker, giving you another Black Ops commentary. It's been a while, been a while. I finished this game going 35-1, and 1, and my weapon of choice today is an M14 with grip. And I have to say, this shit gets more headshots and head than shampoo. And if you um, realize it later on in the game, I get like a 5 headshot kill streak, which is pretty sweet. And uh, I finished the game going 35-1, and 1, and, and this is regular TDM, no ground war. And... I have to say, um, this team kind of sucked, and it gets pretty slow paced later on due to the fact that most of them rage quit. And my kill streaks I'm using are the Counter Spy Plane, the Blackbird, and Dogs or Scruffies or whatever you guys may call them. And uh, I, if I were to have like set up a gunship or a chopper gun, I would have got a much higher score, but it would have been as exciting as this. And how have you guys been? I mean, it's been a couple of weeks, and probably you guys have started school already. And there's a couple of freshmen out there who are pretty nervous about going into high school, but it's really not that bad. The title freshman doesn't really mean that much. Well, at least that's what I know. And I've been trying uh, very hard lately just to get my grades up, because last year my grades were pretty much shit. I didn't really want to do anything. And plus, I'm in all the advanced classes, so it gets kind of stressful. And I might give you guys a couple of tips on how to stay up top while playing some video games. I mean, video games are, for most people, it's not your priority right now. I mean, schoolwork means a lot. I hate to sound like your fucking parents, but it's kind of true. And I highly recommend starting off the year well instead of just starting off like crap like I usually used to do. So I'm going to give you guys a couple tips on how to stay up top and be able to get on your parents' good side and be able to play as many video games as you want. My first tip is to always do your homework. Homework's big fucking deal. Even though it's like only a couple points. It, it Oh, this is where I get my headshot shot streak going on. But homework, it, it is huge. I mean, if you don't do it, you're kind of fucked because you, you lose a grade and you don't know what the hell is going on in class. And that was pretty much my problem last year. And I had the worst subject of all, I think, it, which was geometry. Some of you guys might think it was easy, but my teacher was a complete bitch. I mean, giving us homework, like two or three assignments a day. It, and it sucked, but... The second tip I'm going to give you guys is to um, try to make time to do your homework right after school. and Because once you get it done right after school, I mean some of these tips, it, it's pretty much like you have to get used to it and you kind of have to keep doing it to make it into your routine. And doing homework right after school is actually pretty, very, very important because once you get all that done, you have the rest of the day to just game or masturbate or do what pretty much whatever you want. I'm not judging, but the third and pretty much the most important tip is to start off the year pretty much organized as hell. Just be as organized as you possibly can, because if you're not organized like I usually was, you end up losing shit like homework, important papers, and you could start failing. And that's what you do not want to do. You never want to start off the year failing because it usually does not get that better. And it's um, pretty hard to get it back up to a good grade. Up, oh, host migrations going on. Here's a video of a cute kitten. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Ah! Ah! I don't know if I'm going to get copyrighted for this. I don't, I don't really know, but it's so cute. All right, back to the game. Um, another thing you should do, but I don't know if I'll be hated for this, is to get on your teacher's dick. Not literally, but just symbolically. I mean, it doesn't take that much to go on a teacher's good side, unless they're complete douchebags, hate their jobs, hate that they have minimum wage, and they, they don't get shit or have good dental plans. But it's kind of important. I mean, seem like sit there... I mean, you could think about tits and porn all you want in class, but just make sure you're watching the teacher. But try not to imagine her in your fantasies, because that's kind of weird. Especially if it's a guy, I mean. But just make sure you're paying attention a little bit. Maybe answer a couple questions here and there. Make them feel good about themselves, and maybe help them survive another day in just shitty, shitty teacherhood. 
But please, whatever I do, do not take this stuff too seriously. I mean, do not try to suck their dick long or too hard because then you get to become a teacher's pet and nobody likes those guys. Oh, I almost get killed by a bush wookie to end my pretty decent kill streak. I don't know why the fuck people camp right in the grass in this map. I mean, you're down by pretty much like 30,000 points and you're split screening with your butt buddy. But whatever guys, and like I said, nobody really wants to be a teacher's pet. I mean, you just look like the class douchebag and overachiever. I mean, not saying overachiever is bad, I'd, that's probably the wrong thing to say. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. This commentary is pretty much coming to an end. And I'm going to try to be a little bit more active on my channel. I might upload every couple of days, maybe other every other day. And uh, I might be doing a couple of clips here and there that will be for your enjoyment. So I'm going to stay active. And I please like and favorite if you did like it and this is your favorite. But then again, this is not real life. This is probably one of your fantasies in your history class. You're thinking about porn in my commentary voice. And look at this dolphin diving douchebag for the game winner. And I'm Danny Boy 4 and I'll see you all later. Peace.